you have some early evidence that maintenance therapy after an autologous stem cell transplant um, makes a difference, especially for these patients, and that um, using uh, more than a single agent, for example, standard might be Revlimid, but using uh, um, lenalidomide, uh, bortezomib, dexamethasone for uh, several years may in fact convert these high-risk patients to standard risk. So it's, it is important. We've recognized that as well in our new staging system. We had an international staging system that um, used simply uh, albumin and beta-2 microglobulin to identify who was uh, stage 3 or high risk. Um, we now require an elevated um, uh, beta-2 microglobulin as well as either an elevated LDH or one of uh, the several abnormal fish tests that predict for high risk. That would be a deletion 17P, uh, 414 tran uh, translocation, or a 1416 translocation. This seems to predict the, uh, far better for uh, high risk than uh, the original international staging system. This system is called the revised international staging system.